Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Joe Melillo. Here's the latest from WENY HD News and the Star Gazette. We have breaking news out of Horseheads this morning. A garage fire broke out at a home on Green Ridge Drive in Horseheads around 2.30 this morning. Neighbors tell me they heard a loud pop, then saw flames. Then they called 911. An electrical wire was down in the front yard near the garage, and firefighters on scene tell me that it could have started the fire. Town and country fire crews were first on the scene, followed by Horseheads and the town of Irwin later. Neighbors also tell me two people live in the home along with five dogs. One neighbor was able to get the homeowners on the phone. They're okay. They were away and had all their dogs with them. Stay tuned here to WENY HD News. We'll have the latest as soon as more information becomes available. Controversy around the Common Core education continued last night in Elmira Heights. A lot of concerned parents came out for an, an informational session at the Twin Tiers Tea Party meeting. It was hosted by three parents who don't like the Common Core program, and they are hoping to stop the implementation completely. And although it was held by the Twin Tiers Tea Party, they wanted to make clear it's not a political issue. Some parents who came out didn't know how much Common Core, how, uh, didn't know much about Common Core, and left wanting to learn more parents don't realize, I did not realize until tonight, that when I report to my school district, the school district has access to private information about my children that I don't, frankly, I don't want them to have. It's one, one that we want to get parents involved and aware of what's going on and what is going to be taught to their children in the schools coming up in the next couple of years. As of right now, implementation of the Common Core program is set to continue into the upcoming school year. Now here's meteorologist John Hickey with today's forecast. Well, it's weekend's eve and we have clouds and showers in it. Now the good news is that we get the rain out of the way today and we see some sunshine over the course of your weekend. So we'll deal with our damp Friday and it's going to be just that damp. It's not going to be all that rainy per se, but just one of those days you just look outside and say, eh, forget about it. Uh, but we have improvement on the way for the weekend. Sunshine, warmer temperatures. Perhaps a couple of 80 degree readings popping up on Sunday if we can see enough sunshine, but rain returns to the forecast, unfortunately, just in time for next work week. We put future track into motion for today, though. This is 6 o'clock in the evening. The heaviest rain from Tropical Storm Andrea making her way up the eastern coastline will be over towards New England. We'll see some fringe impacts. In fact, as you head out uh, east on uh, I-86, if you travel from Binghamton and points east from there, best chances at seeing some steadier rain today. Elsewhere, as you head to the west, out across most of our viewing area, mainly just some cloudy sky, mist drizzle, perhaps a few showers, though, as Andrea makes her closest pass in the early afternoon and evening hours. Now, overnight, we're going to start to see some improvement. Can't rule out a couple of showers on Saturday morning, but then we'll start to see some sunshine on Saturday afternoon. Temperatures come up, too. We'll see some mid-70s for your Saturday, and then some upper 70s on Sunday. And as I mentioned, if we can see enough sunshine Sunday, We'd have to up that even more to the 80 degree mark. It'd be the first time we've seen 80 pretty much all this week. So seven day forecast temperatures on the way up, but on the way back down again for next week as another low pressure system means more showers by Monday. That's your forecast. Here's Joe. Thanks very much, John. For the latest news, weather and sports, be sure to watch WENY HD News at 536 and 11. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm, a Joe, I'm Joe Malillo. Have a great day.